Hey guys, um, welcome to week 30. Um, I just got so busy and didn't have time to make week 29. Um, really wanted to, but just didn't have the time, or I was too tired. <laughs> um, so yeah, today I'm 30 weeks and 2 days. Um, I had my baby shower the other day. I had it on Friday, February 4th. And it was a great turnout. About 15 people came. Um, my mom was nice enough to make some sandwiches and a veggie platter. And I made some cookies. And we had a cake. It was about this big. Um, and a uh, double layer uh, white cake with really, really good icing. Um, it was nice because it wasn't really that sugary. And then on the top it said, congratulations. Or no, it said, welcome baby. And I had, actually, well, I'll, I'll get it after, but it had like a cute little baby and a lotus flower on the top with a bunch of flowers around the edge, and it was um, airbrushed blue with some sparkles in it, so it was really pretty. Um, <clears throat> I got a whack ton of stuff for my baby shower, which was really nice. Um, I did make a, I took a video on my mom's camera right after the baby shower when everything was all over my bed so that um, I could remember fresh um, after the baby shower what people had given me so I'll be uploading that later and I did do a belly shot and that was at 29 weeks and 6 days so but I didn't do an update video it was just for all the stuff that I got from my baby shower so um, I'll be uploading that as soon as I get that done and get that on the computer um, because when I do my weekly videos, I do it like directly from my computer with the webcam. So, anyways, that was really fun. And so, finally, um, 30 weeks, which is totally insane. Um, seven weeks, she'll be considered full term. Ten weeks, she'll be due. Hopefully, she'll be here and not, well, hopefully, she'll be here in seven to ten weeks and not after ten weeks. I hope she doesn't go overdue, but nothing I can do about that. So, um, also, what was really nice, um, I had this. My um, coworkers gave me this new baby journal, really nice book. And during my baby shower, I had this out, and there's a page in here. I'm just gonna see if I can find it. Um. It says messages from messages from well wishes. Um, so yeah, I just left that out, and there's a couple pages in there that people wrote really nice stuff on. So I thought that was nice. And then I'll just show you quickly. Um, these are the napkins that we had at my baby shower, and some cards. I had these cute. I got a package of these little baby pink rattles. And I got um, a whole bunch of those, and I put those around the cake just as decoration. And then some other stuff. Yeah, and the rest in there is just cards. Um, so yeah, it was really nice. I got a couple things that I really, really wanted and didn't have yet. Um, I got one of those really cool ducks that you put in the bath water, and it'll tell you on the bottom if it's too hot or if it's just right. So I thought that was nice. Um, so yeah, I will upload a video later showing everything I got. As far as 29, week 29, um, I won't say anything about week 30 because it really hasn't, it's only two days in, so, um, week 29 was interesting. Um, I had my, when was that? I had my monthly OBGYN appointment on the... 31st so yeah so on the 31st of January um, she had my results back from when I had my gestational diabetes screen good news is I don't have gestational diabetes bad news is she said that I am anemic so I have to take yeah I have to take these iron pills every night Along with my prenatals, um, 
it's it's not horrible. I mean, anemia is uh, fairly common in pregnancy. About 50% of women that are pregnant end up getting anemia. And it's just for the duration. And then after, your body goes back to normal. So, um, not too worried about that. Although, she did tell me that my blood pressure has gotten higher, gradually, I guess. And she said that it was high at my appointment. Um, and I can't remember what she said it was. But, uh, I said that would explain a lot. Because in the last couple of weeks... Let me know if you've kind of experienced the same feeling. It's really hard to explain, but basically it feels like there's elastics on the tops of my arms and the tops of my legs, and they're squeezing, and it's hard for blood to get through my limbs and flow properly. It feels like um, gravity has suddenly gotten so much heavier, worse, and I feel just heavy fatigued um, I can feel the blood brushing through my limbs and I get this overwhelming feeling of exhaustion and I know that um, having problems breathing can be fairly common or fairly regular throughout pregnancy which I do get that every day but during this it's like I feel like I was just hit by a truck and I can feel my heart beating faster and all that so I didn't know what that was from but then when she told me about the blood pressure thing and the, the being anemic that um, made a little bit more sense. So she told me that if I experienced any swelling or major headaches or there was something else, I can't remember, but um, she said if I experienced any of that to come in and see her earlier than my next scheduled appointment. Um, I haven't noticed any of that, but I know that she's probably asking about that because of preeclampsia because I know those are symptoms of it. Um, so I haven't noticed any swelling. I had a headache about a week ago, but that's it. And um, I know she was probably thinking preeclampsia, maybe. Um, one, because of the blood pressure. Two, because throughout my pregnancy, um, up until 25, 26 weeks or so, I had gained five pounds. And that was it. And I know that sometimes people don't get a, gain a whole lot of weight, but... It was kind of worrying me that I wasn't putting on any weight and there was like a two month period where I, I was constant and I didn't gain or lose anything. Um, so I was really worried about that and then she told me that I had gained nine pounds since my last appointment. So that's nine pounds in a month, which um, they say that you should be gaining about a pound a week. So that's like more than double. Um, which is really strange to me because my eating habits didn't change very much. Um, I eat fairly healthy. I eat mainly from vegetables, fruits and vegetables, I mean. Um, so that was kind of strange. And uh, what it could be is the weight gain could be water retention, which could be from preeclampsia. It could be from something else. It could be something completely normal. But hopefully it's not preeclampsia. I do know I know that it's um, rare, and my chances of having it are probably slim. Considering um, I was just looking up the the um, you know the chances of having preeclampsia. I mean, you have to be overweight. I think you have a better chance if you're African American. You have a better chance if you had horrible blood pressure going into the pregnancy, which I've never had blood pressure problems before. So. Hopefully it's not preeclampsia, but um, if any of you have had preeclampsia during pregnancy, um, just let me know what it was like, like what it felt like. Uh, did it progress into eclampsia, which I know can cause swelling in the brain and seizures and all that. So hopefully none of you have had that, but if you have, please let me know what that was all about. Um, so she basically told me to take two to three hours every single day to make sure I either sleep, rest, lay down with my feet up, to do absolutely nothing. Um, I have been pretty busy lately and I worked for, I bartended for four hours yesterday morning, which is nothing, it's only four hours, but by the end of it I was just like wiped and then I was busy later on, or sorry that was two days ago. And then yesterday I went up to Nanaimo, went up there at 7.30 in the morning, got up at um, a couple hours after that, and did a big group shoot with a bunch of people, and didn't get home until about 4. 
so I've been kind of busy lately, and then I'm planning on going to Vancouver tomorrow for two days to shoot, so who knows? <laughs> I should probably take it a bit easier, but I just like being busy sometimes, so anyways, that's what happened in my doctor's appointment, and now since I am 30 weeks, my appointments are every two weeks, so my appointment was January 31st, my next appointment is Valentine's Day, February 14th, and um, then next month, um, on my birthday, on March 18th, I'm actually having probably my last ultrasound, I'm assuming, um, I think I'll be 36 weeks or so. Um, I don't know if I went over this now because I can't remember if this was in 28 weeks or or not, but I had a an ultrasound um, to basically check up on the cyst that I have on my left ovary. They said it had grown 6 millimeters, but it wasn't, um, it hadn't grown enough to really be significant at all, so um, they... I, at my doctor's appointment, they said that everything was good with her, her heartbeat, amniotic fluid, everything is great. Um, but, so basically they want me to come back at 36 weeks to check up again. So that will be my fifth ultrasound. Um, they said that she was breech. I don't know if she was frank breech or not, but she said, or they said she was breech. And said that her head was up. Um in my, like near my ribs on my right side. Uh, so if any of you have been breached or had babies that are breached, I mean, um, are there any tricks to kind of get them to turn around? I read some like flashing flashlights like lower below your belly button or um, I don't know, can't remember them now, but um, I know how I have a while, I mean I'm 30 weeks. And I have a while for her to turn around, but um, I I'm really nervous. I really can't tell like where her head is, where her bum is, where her arms are. I can't really tell the difference. So I can't tell if she's still breech or not. Hopefully, at my doctor's appointment, she'll be able to tell me by then, in a week from now. But I'm not sure if she can even tell by feeling at this point. But I just really don't want her to be breech. Um, I don't want to have them try and flip her around, you know, when they do it from the outside and it's really painful apparently and I really don't want to have a c-section if, I mean I will obviously if I have to, but I would really like to avoid that as much as possible, so anyways, that's the story with me and my baby, um, I will show you my belly and a uh, measure, you can see my bassinet behind me, got some wipes and nursing pads and all that stuff. So, anyways, I will show you, actually, okay, so, I just want to see 13 and a half minutes, so, there's my belly. Mm -hmm. Looks like I swallowed a basketball, it's so funny. <laughs> really starting to hurt my back. And uh, it's pretty funny when I have to get up from my sitting position. But um, anyways, okay so this week I am... Forty four. Forty four inches. So thanks for watching guys and I will see you in week thirty one. Bye.